Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are having a fantastic day. We are in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona with the all new McLaren 720S Spider, the latest addition to McLaren Super Series. Slotted right in between the entry level sports series with the 570S as well as the 600 LT and the top of the line ultimate series with the Senna and what was the McLaren P1, we have the 720S Spider. Form follows function is the recipe McLaren uses for success with all of their cars. And that couldn't be more true with the 720S Spider. That means every single body line, crease, vent, and intake has a purpose for improving performance and aerodynamics. When the 720S came out, one of its most polarizing features were the headlights. Now the headlights have two functions. One, to illuminate the road, of course, but two, they actually act as air intakes for air to flow through the hollow headlight into heat exchangers behind them. We of course have McLaren's beautiful dihedral doors that not only look fantastic, they're also practical as well. They actually open to a smaller profile than conventional doors, making it easier to open it in tight parking spaces and get into your 720S. McLaren has been pioneering carbon fiber technology since 1981, and that dedication has paid off immensely with the new 720S Spider. Because of the 720S's extremely rigid carbon carbon fiber monocoque, dubbed the Mono Cage 2S, an iteration of the 720S Coupe's monocoque, no additional strengthening was needed in order to remove the roof. This means the weight penalty over the coupe is nearly negligible. It also means that the Spider is just as torsionally rigid, so the driving dynamics aren't hindered in the slightest. You simply get a more pleasurable open top driving experience where you can feel the wind in your hair and hear that exhaust even more clearly. Because of the rigidity of the chassis, we are able to maintain the extraordinarily thin A-pillars, which increases visibility out of the front. We also gain a very cool visual and aerodynamic feature for the Spider. Now, when you take a look at the rear roof line, you'll notice it's actually made up of two flying buttresses. These buttresses have a dual purpose. If you look closely, you'll notice that they're actually glass. You can see through them. Now, why is that? You see, if I'm sitting in the driver's seat and I look over my right shoulder, I can actually see straight through the flying buttress for increased visibility. Because of this, rearward visibility has been increased by 12% over the 650S Spider, and trust me, you notice it. But the flying buttress is not only helpful for visibility, it's also an aerodynamic element as well. It channels air through the buttress over to the rear tonneau cover in order to improve downforce and increase cooling of the engine at the same time. Visually, they're very striking as well. The roof mechanism folds at record-breaking speeds. It is the fastest retracting hardtop of any supercar and is able to completely fold down in just 11 seconds. Check out how fast that really is. is it incredibly fast, but it's exceptionally quiet as well. The mechanism itself makes virtually no noise when you're actually putting the roof up or down. The roof itself is made of only one piece. Not only does it make it more visually appealing to not have the line in the center of the roof, it also makes the operation quicker, but it also improves aerodynamics, so we have no interruption of the airflow over the roof of the 720S Spider. Another very fascinating feature of the hardtop mechanism is the fact that there is storage space located underneath when the roof is up. That's right, all of the space that the roof itself takes up under here can be utilized for an additional two cubic feet of luggage space. We can go ahead and open that by clicking this button here to reveal some extra storage space right there. And of course, we have a very generous trunk capacity as well, 5.3 cubic feet of storage. We'll go ahead and open that up and show you what it's like. Plenty of space for a weekend trip. So let's go ahead and hop in the 720S Spider now and show you what it's like to drive. 
Well guys, we are now in our beautiful Aztec Gold 720S Spider. I'm here with the Stradman. Good hanging out with you, dude. It's actually amazing how many YouTuber friends we've got on this trip. There's JWW, Shmi150, Supercars of London, Seb Delaney, Emma Walsh, and a couple other YouTubers. It's been an absolute blast. The conditions are definitely not ideal, but it actually gives me a good opportunity to be able to talk to the more practical and comfort-oriented side of the 720S. It really is a multi-faceted vehicle. But first, let's talk about the more exciting stuff, and that is the performance. The 720S completely reset the benchmark for what it means to be a fast supercar, honestly offering hypercar levels of performance at a supercar price. The 720S Spider costs $30,000 more than the Coupe, although I'll talk a lot about the fact that there aren't too many downsides of having the Spider, so it actually makes sense to spring that extra 30K. The base price starts at $315,000. This one is optioned up to about 350. So performance wise, I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with the 720S. The Spider is no different than the Coupe in terms of its power. Four liter twin turbocharged V8 that makes 710 horsepower and 568 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 according to McLaren happens in 2.8 seconds for the coupe. The Spider is identical at 2.8 seconds as well. Although aftermarket tests have shown that this car is capable of doing zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds, which is unbelievable for a rear wheel drive vehicle. And dyno tests have proven that the 710 horsepower that McLaren claims is actually severely underrated. We've seen dynos prove that it can produce upwards of 700 horsepower to the wheels, which is closer to that 800 horsepower mark. But the McLaren 720S's biggest advantage is its weight. It's actually 200 pounds lighter than its closest competitor, the 488 Spider. And because of its carbon fiber monocoque, they've been developing carbon fiber technology for the chassis since 1981. It's able to be incredibly lightweight and they co-developed the Spider with the Coupe, which meant there's not much of a weight penalty when they took the roof off of the 720S. It's actually only a 108 pound difference which is pretty staggering. The other amazing part is because it's a carbon fiber monocage, they call it Monocage 2S, a modification of the 720S's Monocage 2, is the fact that it's the same in terms of its structural rigidity and torsional stiffness. So you don't get any handling disadvantages of the Spider whatsoever compared to the Coupe, and you only get that 108 pound difference. The dry weight for the 720S Spider is under 3,000 pounds. It's 2,939 pounds. That is actually unbelievable. Now, zero to 124 miles an hour, you get a tenth of a second delay with the Spider versus the Coupe. The top speed of this with the roof down, which apparently has been confirmed by a McLaren test driver, this has gotta be insane to experience, 202 miles an hour. With the roof up, it matches the top speed of 212 miles an hour of the coupe. So, we've got a seven speed double clutch transmission that responds instantaneously. I mean, it's lightning fast. Carbon fiber paddles that feel amazing in terms of their actuation. We've got the signature rocker panel, which means you can actually push the paddles forwards or backwards to upshift or downshift with one hand. Originally, I wasn't quite sure what the point of that is, but Stradman pointed out it's actually exceptional for vlogging. So if you're filming True. with one hand, you can actually film an acceleration run and with your left hand, upshift as well as downshift all at the same time. So YouTubers, if you're looking for uh, the perfect YouTube car, there you go. In terms of the interior, uh, it's lovely in here. The leather quality is fantastic. The seats are super comfortable. It honestly, in comfort mode, feels like a GT car. We've been driving for about an hour and 20 minutes and it is incredibly comfortable. It's isolated in the cabin. The suspension rides smoothly. That's part of proactive chassis control too, which uses 21 sensors to scan the road and depending upon what driving mode we're in, adapt to road conditions to make it as comfortable as possible or as body roll free as possible. Instead of using conventional anti-roll bars, they use a hydraulic setup that reacts impressively fast. It means when you're on really bumpy roads driving fast, it actually grips to the ground more intensely and better than almost any supercar I've ever driven. Compared to something like a GT2 RS with a more conventional setup, it seems like it jostles all around and 
feels unbalanced, but this stays absolutely planted. We've got three different driving modes, comfort, sport, and track red comfort mode right now, which honestly is incredibly easy to drive. The fact that it was pouring rain earlier, it's got over 700 horsepower, it's rear wheel drive, and I'm able to stay on the road and not die is actually a pretty amazing feat. So we've got sport mode when we flick the, uh, there's two different dials, one for handling, uh, that's the chassis setup as well as the steering, and then we've got one for the powertrain which changes uh, the transmission setup. So when you put the car in sport mode, it actually causes spark ignition to stop momentarily between shifts to cause the shifts to happen faster. And when you warm the engine up enough, it actually cracks under downshift, which sounds fantastic. Then you put the car into track mode, which we're not gonna do right now because it is absolutely pouring rain, uh, but the shift intensity heightens yet again, more responsiveness, and it uses something called inertia push technology, which I haven't seen before used in any other vehicle, but apparently it uses stored kinetic energy to unleash a momentary increase in torque between shifts to speed up the shifts. And stuff like that that McLaren does, it just absolutely blows my mind. Works in the background and makes the driving experience all that more fun. In terms of the fit and finish of the interior, the carbon fiber work is absolutely mesmerizing. There's also more usage of aluminum instead of plastic in the interior than pretty much any other supercar. All of the switch gear feels good to the touch. We've also got the upgraded Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which has been completely retuned for the Spider because, well, the acoustics are going to be different. One of my favorite features is this roof here. So it's optional. It's called an electrochromic roof, which is tinted right now it's got 30% tints and when you click this button it releases it to 80% tint and all of a sudden all of the sunlight is unleashed into the interior so it actually feels like an amazing panoramic sunroof so you don't even have to put the top down then of course one of my favorite features of the 720s is the folding rotating display it's like something out of a James Bond movie but if you put the car into track mode where you click the folding display button to the left of the steering wheel the display goes from showing you things like how much gas we have left, tire temperature and pressure, basically every bit of information you could want, to giving you a super simple display that only shows you how fast you're going, your RPM and your gear. It also folds out of the way so you've got a little bit better visibility. Honestly, McLaren paid an extreme attention to making this have incredible visibility and honestly, it worked out really well. We're about to arrive at our lunch stop in about 20 minutes, but it's amazing cruising in this for literally over an hour and it is one of the most comfortable cars in the world. Just showed up at our lunch stop at the Rim Lodge. After you, Mr. Oh, you Mr. Guys, Stratimus. Look at the dessert setup they've got going on here. We have cakes on spoons. <laughs> That's awesome. Cakes on spoons. Look who we got, Supercars of London. How was the drive, dude? What? Oh, no, oh yeah, we're talking about it now, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, yeah, the drive was great, actually. Drive like a 720 is cool. <laughs> it does drive very <laughs> yeah. similar. Which, I mean, sounds really simple, but it's actually really difficult. It's to, actually to impressive, it's impressive. Yeah, did you have fun? I had fun. Yeah. I tried to accelerate a little bit. It was <laughs> yeah, and then all of a, a sudden. A little squirrely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah. the only time I tried to accelerate happened to be right when there was a cop behind me. <laughs> really? But uh, yeah, I was fine. How's it going, dude? Really, really good. How was your drive? Wet and slow, but it was cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah it was awesome, man. I was just um, reminiscing, because my, my dad used to work here in the 70s. Yeah. And so, at this place right here? At, right here, he was, he was the attend now, not this place, in Arizona. He used to uh, be a, a tire tester. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So he just sent me a picture of him back in the 70s looking like this sort of cool dude with his like medallion on and stuff. So Testing tires? It's cool, man. Yeah. Nice. Testing tires. He had the best job in the world. He would, he would wake up in the morning and drive 500 miles through the desert in what was like the latest car at that time. And then get to the end, check the tread depth, send it back to HQ and then drive back again. <laughs> Super chill. And then we got Shmi. Yo. How's your day been? Very chill. Very chill. Very chill. Enjoying the quietness. I'm excited for the rain to stop. 
Yeah, then it gets drive. Awesome to see all of the 720s's next to each other. This is a new color for the car called Belize Blue, and it fits the 720s Spider so well, especially with these beautiful new wheels. Then we have Supernova Silver over there and Aztec Gold, which we are driving in today. More 720s's coming up. Look at those sunglasses. Thanks, man. Those are mighty fancy. Yeah, the, do the lenses match the, the, the slightly similar uh, tint, They right? are a little bit gold. They're kind of similar-ish. <laughs> Close <laughs> enough. You ready for the drive back? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm ready to not take the roof down. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be great. James is brave. He's about to drop the roof on the 720S Spider in the rain. I can show you guys exactly how fast 11 seconds looks like for dropping the top. The mechanism itself, is almost so simple. It's super quiet as well. You can't hear any of the motors. And there you go. The top is down. Here we go, opening up the dihedral doors to the passenger side. Well, I trust my life with James in the rain. Oh, 700 okay. horsepower. We'll definitely be okay. I hope 100%. so. 100%. And we've got Seb hello. Delaney in the house. Hi, yes, hello. How was your drive here? It was fantastic. I've actually got exactly the same car as you guys. Nice. Oh, same nice. spec. What so. do you think of it? Yeah, it's brilliant. But uh, although we can't really take the roof off, can we? Well, we can. Oh, we I think will. we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. we try tried right it, now. but then we yeah. ended up on a motorway and then couldn't put it back on. Oh, no. yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I no. think that's what's gonna happen to you guys. Yeah. And then we'll you fine. know what? If you're driving fast, <laughs> you can't feel anything. But the rain comes in here, so you're oh. gonna get your left shoulder is gonna become soaked. Soaked? Do you guys know what that means? Is that an American word? Yeah, that is yeah, an American, American, American word. Just like that, roof back is going back on. Oh, really? Anyways. Good to see you guys. Nice All right, see ya. Here we can get a good look at that electrochromic roof. Right now it's tinted. Click the button and boom, all clear. The level of hospitality at these events are unbelievable. Not only are we staying at the beautiful Four Seasons, we went through over a half a tank of gas on the way here to the restaurant. And while we were eating, they filled it up for us. So James has got plenty of gas to have fun. I get to enjoy the passenger experience in the 720S now. It's actually staggering how comfortable this car is to drive when it is in comfort mode and just ride in for long periods of time. Look how beautiful the Bowers & Wilkins sound system is, the curvature of the metal, such a unique design. Love it. Shmi 150 next to us. Seb and the fellow Aztec Gold 720. This is the stuff I love, guys. The sun is coming out. We're rolling five McLarens deep with a bunch of awesome friends. Look at that air brake. We got Mr. JWW <laughs> vlogging me, vlogging him. Oh yeah, guys, if you're not following the Stradman yet, I got a link in the description below. Make sure to do so. It's gonna have an awesome vlog as well. This is a freaking blast. <laughs> New BMW SUV test mule running alongside us. <laughs> well, the rain is starting to come down harder. The visibility is unbelievably limited. water those fat Pirelli tires are kicking up in the back. Well, it is still raining, but we've decided it would be a waste of the 720S Spider to not at least drop the top once or twice. So we're gonna slow down to 31 miles an hour so we can drop the top on this thing and well, see how fast we actually have to go so we don't get wet. And just as I said that, it started raining significantly <laughs> harder than before, but I think we gotta keep it honest with the viewers. We gotta, we gotta absolutely. drop the top. Absolutely, yep, absolutely. All right, here we go, the moment of truth. 30 miles an hour. Oh boy. This is so this dumb. This is such a bad idea. 
11 seconds, baby. The good news is it's fast enough, so now we can speed up. Yeah, we're good. All right. Not bad. Not now bad. we're not getting wet. Well, there you go. We have determined that if you drive at 60 miles an hour with the top down in the 720S Spider, it's fine if it's raining. You don't get wet. All right, it's starting to downpour and we are still not wet. We're good. I just realized how ridiculous we must look right now. <laughs> Out in the middle of nowhere with five McLarens and we're the only one with the top down in the middle of the rain. That's how we do it. Right. American YouTubers. We do. Mr. JWW wanted to take a break, so he's actually loaned James, the Stradman, his car, so we're going alone in separate vehicles. Then we got Shmi back there in the silver one. Time to head to the lake. They have vastly improved the lift system for the front of the McLaren in terms of how you actuate it. Instead of having to go through a series of complex maneuvers with the stock, all you have to do is click this button right here and the car raises or lowers. We got Shmi taking in. about the 720S Spider is how exceptionally easy it is to drive in inclement weather. And it's a scary feat driving a rear wheel drive supercar that makes over 700 horsepower. Almost like a death trap, but McLaren's traction control system for the 720 is so good, you can legitimately floor it in the rain and the traction control system takes care of you. Obviously, you don't want to be overly aggressive, but I am so impressed with how easy this thing is to drive. Let's lower the rear window now and have a bit of fun with the exhaust. It is incredible the amount of difference that makes in terms of the penetration of the engine note into the cabin. Woof, that is so much better. Oh, the crack. Oh my gosh. It is staggering. The zero to 60 of this car in the dry is beyond impressive, 2.5 seconds, but the acceleration after 60 miles an hour is really what blows my mind. Part of that is due to the incredible aerodynamics of the car and how streamlined it becomes at higher speeds. The top end pull of this is like nothing else out there. Push technology faster. 
your gear changes. <laughs> this is awesome. It is spectacular out here. Wow. There we go. There's the beautiful lake up ahead. Look who we have here. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? A little photo shoot action. I'm good. Yeah? You got the roof on. I got the roof on. You're doing it the right way. I'm doing it the right way. This is a pretty cool location. It is. We have just arrived at beautiful Bartlett Lake. The scenery out here is absolutely gorgeous, and I think this is the perfect time to end today's video. I had an absolute blast with the 720S Spider. It's exceptionally fun to drive, brutally quick, practical, easy to drive in the rain, and there's no performance loss that's, and there's no perceptible performance loss over the coupe. 720S Spider. Two thumbs up from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.